I bought an item online uh, for a large online retail retailer uh, back in January. Um, to my surprise, there were items missing from that package. I reported that to the retailer, returned it, and to my surprise, uh, we kept kept on taking the money. <laughs> is is a five is is a five monthly payment, um, and I only noticed by accident because they wrote me a letter saying that they you know the transfer was successful. Got in touch with them, and basically what they're saying is they received um, the box back, but the box was full of rubbish, um, nappies, nappy wipes. Um, bits and pieces inside the box, not the item they actually sold to me. Have you got a baby? <laughs> I do have a baby. You do have it a baby. Is it, is it possible you sent the wrong, pack, wrong box no. back to the wrong place? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Basically, you know, I dropped the package in one of their drop off points, a courier. Um, and they don't give you a reference, they just give you a reference number, just basically saying that you dropped it. Uh, yep. an item yep, yep, yep. And, and, and a date but I don't know where I stand I did pay for with credit card by the way. ok good so um, uh, just tell me what it was you bought uh, it was it was a vacuum cleaner it was a cordless vacuum cleaner that valued £300 oh a lot of money how does that fit in a little box no the box wasn't little <laughs> the box was quite so big. you sent them back a lot of dirty nappies if the box was that big yeah that's right according <laughs> to them yeah. alright so um, I First of all, I'd escalate it using their internal complaints process. Good luck finding it on their website. Most online retailers don't make it easy. If that doesn't get anywhere, uh, I would put in a... I'm, I'm just wondering whether Section 75 applies to this, the, the, the section of the Consumer Credit Act that says that the credit card company is equally liable for the uh, for any breach of contract, because this isn't strictly a breach of contract. This is a failure to refund your money when you've returned the goods. Uh, did you return it within the 14 days that you have to return online purchases? It is not. This, this vertical um, retailer has got a 30-day policy. Right, but uh, did you return it within 14 or 30 days? It'll make a difference. Uh, within, I think it was within the 30 days, yeah. But not within 14? No, within, I don't believe so. Good, I, that, I'm not, that's, that's I'm wonderful. Sure. That's wonderful, because if you'd returned it within 14 days, you'd be claiming against them under some regulations that the credit card companies aren't liable for. But if it's between the 15th and 30th day, then it is a claim for breach of contract, uh, because they've, they've promised under the contract to give you your money back if you return it within 30 days, and they haven't done that. So it is a claim for breach of contract, and the credit card company will be liable. I would put in a Section 75 claim, your credit card company will have details on their website as to how to do that and if your credit card company doesn't refund you and often they don't often they think if there's some way of not paying the money like the retailer says nap is percent back we're not going to then i'm afraid philippe you're going to have to bring a small claim uh and you'll bring a small claim in the small claims court and the chances are a judge is going to accept what you say because if you say i personally packed up the cordless vacuum and took it to the drop-off point uh and the online retailer i nearly said the name of who i guessed it was but we're not going to do that um the online retailer <laughs> The online retailer says, oh, we've got really good systems and we're pretty sure we've got a load of nappies back. The chances are the judge is going to believe you sitting there swearing and telling the truth. Uh, after Not swearing and telling the truth, swearing to <laughs> tell the truth uh, over the nameless bureaucrat from the uh, online retailer who says... We have good systems in place, and although I didn't personally open the box from Philippe, well, I'm confident that our systems are very, very efficient. Um, I think you'll win that one, Philippe. <laughs>